Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is RenderTech and no, your eyes do not deceive you, I really am here, it's really my webcam and my blue yeti, which obviously means another video. Um, again, I've been away for quite a while, so I want to get back into this. Um, it's the 22nd of May at the minute, which obviously means that tomorrow is a very special day for the channel. It actually marks the two year anniversary of the channel coming into conception. Uh, there's a lot planned basically for the channel in the next few weeks and months and all that various stuff. Um, some new series that I've got planned. Um, again, I'm going to be working with some videos on Irrational. Uh, hopefully Turbo is going to be helping me work on some stuff here on the channel. Um, again, get some more collabs out there, get some more content out there and all that good stuff. Um, I played a recording of this before, um, unfortunately it balked. Um, really quite sad about that because uh, it was really, really, it was an all right recording. Uh, but nevertheless, we're gonna give this a fresh start and this is Five Nights Back Tonight. It's made by Inferno Negative Mickey. He made the original, one of the original revivals of FNETI. Uh, he made that one with a weird red creature. Um, uh, I think he's made another one. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll pop down and be, there'll be like an annotation. Um, if there is, because I'm not going to do that while I'm here. Um, but no, let's get on to this. Local McDonald's restaurant in need of a security guard to work a night shift from 12am to 6am through the passing week. Job includes monitoring cameras and maintaining the safety of all equipment the animatronic character. McDonald's is not responsible for any injury or dismemberment. $150.50 a week to apply. Call. Um, and I really like the style that um, PN Mick has gone for in this game. Uh, it feels really good. I'm just going to have to arc away from my microphone. I hope you like the new sort of setup, by the way. I'm trying to use this to sort of get rid of the jagged edges. If you like it, fair enough. If not, let me know. Um, yeah, hello. Mr. <laughs> it's brilliant. Hey, oh, I didn't even. Oh, hey, Chris. To guide you through what you have to do here for your night shift duties. First things first. You have a camera panel there for you to check the building security cameras. Mm -hmm. We installed them for you, so you don't have to keep wandering around the place to make sure things are in the right place. That's fair enough. Also, being quicker way to check the rooms. Now, on the second floor is our new animatronic, Mac Tonight. Mm -hmm. You may remember it from the commercials. Absolutely. That's not nice. Vandals will be breaking in for the night and tampering with it, but we'll just leave it at that. The yeah, don't blame me. Place every morning, and the other employees are becoming paranoid that it's haunted, but I'm not going to bother you with that. All right, good. In case anyone does get into the building and into your office, to your left is a window which you can shut. Well, there's a problem with the window. It has this uh broken spring, which mm -hmm. keeps it open. Okay. Anyway, I think that's all you need to know for this night. Um, I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Alright, take care, man. I always pretend, I always go into that thingy of, oh yeah, the, the phone guy's actually there, he's actually talking, but then I realise, no, it's a pre-recorded call written by some arsehole. It's not, he's probably not an arsehole, it's probably a nice guy, but we'll go, we'll go with that. Uh, no, it's, it's good to be back into this, it's really good. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on recently. I've had driving is the biggest thing. I've um, I'm hopefully about well, I'm hopefully less than a month away from getting my license. 
which is nice. I mean, I'm 23 tomorrow, you know, I kind of need to get it. I've just held off getting it because, well, I just haven't needed one, to be honest. Public transportation, especially where I live, is reasonably good for what I need. Brilliant. Uh, not really much I can comment on here. I mean, I'm just literally. I love how it's doing like a um, sort of like a fun time Freddy sort of thing. So I'll be interested to know who uh, voices Mac tonight. I miss. I mean, obviously they don't use the same AT and T thing we use for. Well, for those of you who don't understand, basically, this is Mac tonight. He was in commercials for nineteen seventies. The problem is, it's kind of two interpretations of Mac tonight. You've got the original Mac tonight, like I said, from the nineteen seventies cartoons, um, which you can go and view if you really want to. Um, the other one is he's a figurehead for alt right. Um, on like 4chan and you know that's it's time to die yeah pretty pretty much you got moon man there literally you don't even need me to explain what moon man is if you want to go, want to know who moon man is just ask somebody or google it you know that's probably the best procedure um so my understanding if somebody gets to that door specifically moon man then we need to generate sound on this per thing here. If somebody gets to this window here, we need to shut it and let them go. Alright. Just gonna turn this down a bit. Let's get so fucking paranoid. Something's gonna jump out of me. Well, it will. But no, I love the intention to detail of this. Um, Mac is being a lot more tame than he was last night. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm looking at the cameras and all that shit. Absolutely. You gotta be quick with him. Then it's a red one. Ready when you are, Mr. Moon. Mm, need to check about Barney thing. I think I'm watching it. There we are. He was so much more docile on that one. I mean, the last night, he was outside my room at like 4 a.m.
Whereas the second night, nice. I don't know how complete this game is. I mean, I'm hoping it is quite complete, actually. So when we see him, so we got, all right, okay. So what I'm getting is that's for Hamburglar, as far as I can understand. No, that's for Hamburglar. Fucking hell. Shit. Where is he? Okay, shit. Fuck. Thank good. Where the, where the fuck Moon Man was? Let's try that again. This is good. I'm liking this. obviously not him. He'll try to get to the vents, which is here. I think he comes from there. I'm not too sure, though. I like this, though. It's got a very pop go you feel to it.
So again, sorry for full silent with this, but it's just trying to concentrate on when, if, where everybody is. Uh, so again, these, these games are quite hard to commentate over. Where are you? It's too quiet. He's in bullet, okay. Best way is slow him down because you're checking him. He'll cut. Okay. Fine. He'll try and get to Moon. Fuck. Come on, let me overheat. Yes. Okay, he's... What? There was no, like, ventilation thingy. So when he's crawling down, that's when you have to get in. No, that's, that wasn't too bad actually, that's actually really fun. Um, Alright guys, that was Five Nights with Mac tonight. That is, you wouldn't think it's really good, but it's great. Check it out. Um, I'll put a link to the game in the description. I um, hope you like it, I hope you like the new format, and... Hope you like the way the channel is going, and yeah, we'll be doing more games like this hopefully in the future. Uh, anyways, um, I am RenderTech, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care everybody.